um, a genetic potential video, okay, uh, seeing you ask for this video a few times, I always kind of ignore it, but let's see what I have to say about that. Um, can everyone get as big and as strong as me? No. Uh, can everyone become Ronnie Coleman? No. Uh, but people definitely believe that the average genetic potential is much less than it really is. Um... Genetic potential is uh, has a lot more to do with your mind than anything I would say. I mean, obviously you can find someone that's dumb as hell or, I mean, just perhaps even disabled, mentally disabled, and they can be very strong. However, it, it's going to take a lot of persistence and a lot of um, trial and error, a lot of planning and researching and stuff. You get as big and as strong as you can. You have to have a lot of fortitude there. And uh, all that has to do with your mind. I mean, you have to kind of have a strong will for that kind of thing and want to do it. So I would say um, genetic potential is mostly limited to um, a person's mind, to the largest degree. I mean, obviously, like I said, guys like Stephen Hawking, I mean, they're not going to be able to go very far, kind of, regardless of how smart they are or, or how, um, you know, perseverant they are. But, uh, I would say the average genetics, like, you know, a healthy adult male, 18 and up, say, uh, even being very short or having a below size frame and that kind of thing, you can still do like very crazy things that, that might just be harder for you. Um, the, the way people get to these spectacular strengths and sizes isn't a genetic thing. It's, it's years and years of doing things that other people aren't willing to do. I mean, you'll find a lot of people who will train hard, but how many people train as hard as Ronnie Coleman did? every muscle group twice a week for however many years. I mean, he's probably at it for like 30 years. Um, so you combine you combine how hard he's willing to train and how strict he's willing to be with his diet and how, you know, persistent he is with, uh, you know, his, the supplements he's taking and you get, you know, every now and then you get a one-of-a-kind freak like Ronnie Coleman. But he also had a one-of-a-kind work ethic and, you know, all that kind of thing. I mean, a lot of people even if they could lift those weights, they wouldn't. Even if they could train that often, they wouldn't, you know, et cetera, et cetera. If they could eat that much, they wouldn't. So it it's, uh, has a lot more to do with uh, your mind and, and what you're willing to do to reach your goals than anything. I, w I wouldn't set any limits on yourself personally. I would be realistic, but I would always um, say to yourself, well, if I can do this, I should be able to be a little bit better because, you know, whatever and then be willing to do what it takes to get better and you will pass up what you think your genetics are capable of probably every time uh... You know, there are some things you'll just get hurt I mean you can have all the belief in the world you can bench 900 pounds raw but you'll just get hurt however a lot of people are sitting around saying I don't think I have the genetics to even bench 300 or 400 or 500 and that's not necessarily the case I mean pretty much everyone can do 300, 400, 500. 500 is definitely harder, but, you know, over a lifetime of, of doing what it takes to bench 500, I would say a lot more people can bench 500 than anyone really realizes. Uh, so that's, that's all I really have to say on genetic potential. I mean, I believe to get to your furthest in your genetic potential, you have to s spend all of your time doing the right thing. Because every meal, every day, every week, or whatever is done wrong or not done ideal is is wasted more not completely wasted but some portion of that is wasted because you could have done better so you want to use your young years or all the time you currently have to do your best you'll get closer to your, ge your genetic potential and I also believe that um, you have to get as big and as strong as you can naturally before you take anything if you want to reach your potential a lot of people get on really very early on and burn themselves out with um, drugs and that sort of thing before they ever um, come close to what they could be, um, their body almost seems to build up a tolerance to it. I mean, you've seen how many people have you known about in the gym or whatever. They take tons and tons of stuff. They don't look like the other guys. They don't look like these pros or anything, even though they might take the same amount, you know, or, or close to it. And then you have a natural guy who just works out hard, and he's bigger than all the other guys using shit. So that's not genetic. That's you know, what you're doing. That's how, how you're eating, how you're training, and how bad you want and that kind of thing. I mean, obviously genetics plays a role, but 
the point of this video is is the biggest role is in your genetic frame or whatever it's it's your mind and, and what you're willing to do to reach your goals because by the time you reach your goals then people are going to be saying how great your genetics are so have faith in yourself and um you know think of uh think of what you're doing as as something think of yourself as uh capable of things that other people aren't and you will be you know you just got to believe in yourself kind of thing so um that's what i have to say